So a couple quick hitters, need a basket. You know, people a lot of times now are going to one possession situations and you know, you call timeout and, and there's 20 something seconds left and they're going to a zone. And, and you need a look to be able to get the ball where you want it. So this one we call West. Uh, the first couple are gonna be, um, to me, you always put your, your finisher and your shooter in conjunction with one another, so they have to make a decision. So West, this guy's gonna be our best finisher, and this guy's gonna be our best shooter. So in West, you, you pass to your shooter and pass back, just to shift the defense a little bit. If you were really in a time situation, if you took the ball out of bounds and there was 12 seconds, you could say, West, just get right into it, don't set it up. But as he passes and passes back, okay, now you're gonna dribble over here, uh, immediately you're running all the way through and you're the shooter, okay? You're screening, yep, you can step off a little bit. You're screening the middle of the zone and you're coming through and screening, yep, the middle, the middle guy right here. Yep, so let's, say the, let's get defense out just to show it. The, you're screening the middle zone and you're screening the back wing on this side. Because, yep, the wing here, so you go ahead and screen that guy. The wing here is the one who has a decision to make. Does he run out here with the shooter? and then you're gonna get a dunk behind it, or if he stays in, you're gonna get a shot. So, this is what West looks like. Yep, Dakari's gonna dribble over, hit your shooter over here, you pass back and immediately you're busting your tail to that corner. Yep, you're screening the middle of the zone, you're screening the back right here, yep, and you're coming right behind this zone. Yep, and you can hit him right here. If it's, if you make eye contact with him here, you can hit him on this side and it's like a dunk, a lob, or you're getting to this side and you're finishing with your left hand. Okay, let's do that one full speed and let's say you've got him, so you're gonna run out with the shooter at least a little bit. Good, excellent, good. So obviously Dakari seems pretty comfortable with his left hand here. Something to think about, you know, if your point guard's a better passer with their right hand, you would wanna start it on the other side because you've gotta be able to make that read, okay? Now let's just do it one more time and you're like, oh, I know this play is coming, I'm gonna sit all the way in and, and you can either knock down a shot or once you catch it, if he flies out at you, you can hit your scorer on a post up. Uh, I'm sorry, it's you, you. You're either gonna shoot it, yep, if they come here or go into the post. Go ahead, West. Yep, so you're, we're reading the blonde guy right here. He stays home. You gotta be able to knock that down or he flies out and go back in just like that. Either one, both good looks. Okay, so that's West, pretty simple. Um, you know, we scored a lot on that. Again, it helps to have a post player with good hands who can catch it behind the zone and finish, um, but that's worked well for us.